Hello, good day, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to upload images to your Rails application in seven simple steps using Shrine. Okay, before I go into the details, let's start by creating our Rails application. I'm going to call it a photo app. I'm just going to skip testing. So while it's running, uh, Shrine official site should be shrine.rb.com. So Shrine is a file attachment toolkit for your Ruby applications. Shrine is far more flexible than Active Record for me. So if you are familiar with it, you should know it's a modular file upload system for Ruby application in general, but definitely works very well with Rails. So we're just going to wait for our application to go on, uh, finish installing, then we dive right in into setting up and configuring our Rails application to start uploading images using Shrine. Okay, now that our application has finished uh, installing, this entails our first step, is running the Rails application and installing the necessary gem that we need. So here we just need uh, the Shrine gem and the image processing gem, so Ruby gem. So in this first step, the first thing we did was set up the Rails application. So in this first step, it will just entail setting up our gem files and we would be good to go to the second step. So I'm going to pick the latest one. Uh, so let's navigate to our application, to the photo app. So open it in our code editor. So we have it, uh, gem file. I'm just going to paste the first one. So the second is image processing. Uh, this allows you to for file validations. You will need this because it's checking the image size. Uh, if you want to shape your image for uh, like thumbnails, automatically generate thumbnails. Image processing does that. Okay, now let's run our bundle. Bundle install. Oh. Now that step one is out of the way, we would need to configure our shrine uh, with the different shrine configuration. If you go to getting started, you see the shrine configuration for file systems. You have this uh, with a prefix, that means any cache image is saved under upload slash cache. Then the main image for your files are saved under uploads. These are usually temporary, maybe after 10 days or so it's deleted depending on the configuration file you said. So I have uh, a bunch of codes that I'm going to copy and paste uh, to my data. So uh, we have restore cache and here we're going to use active record. So we'll also have a bunch of plugins for validation. I'm just going to co uh, copy a code snippet. I have an article written about this so you could go there and read more details about it. So uh, let's do that under the config initializers. We're going to create a new file called shrine.rb. That is where we're going to paste our code. So here, for if you are running tests, maybe you're going to run tests, uh, something like RSpec, you want to keep your files on the memory, memory so it doesn't have to use up your space. Uh, you don't need to save it anywhere, so it just runs and tests. Then for the cache and the rest, then uh, validation help us, which we will see later on. So that is basically step two. So let's look at step three. Step three, we are going to generate scaffold for our application. So we'll have Rails generate. I'm going to do this. Generate scaffold. Um, I'm spelling it right. Scaffold, article. So I have title, body, text. Uh, image data is where my shrine image is going to be saved. So that is it. Then I'm going just going to run migration. So Rails DB uh, creates my database and run migration for me. Good. Okay, that is it for step three. So step four, we're going to create our image class uh, here. This one. So where we can so that we can use Shrine attachment to reference whatever it's here so i'm going to go ahead and under my application folder i'm going to create a new folder called uploads 
uploader and you call it uploader so we will have a new file called image and that's called uploader.rb so we will just bring in this okay so uh, just before let us add uh, validation so that we we'll we know we are done with it. Under validations, you can see a lot of validations on the documentation page. So you have to put this attacher.validate do. So it runs different validations for size, for, for file type and file extension. You can validate at those ones as well. But we're just going to do a few validations for the maximum size, the, the main type, whether it's a JPEG, a PNG, a WebP. So all those things have to work. And that is it for step four. Step five, we are going to associate our model with the shrine image. So let's head to our model. We have the article. So here we will need to have something like include uh, image uploader, which is the class we created under here. Remember, image uploader, uh, which is inheriting from shrine. Okay, so we have attachment according to the documentation. If you look at it very well where you can use something like this so uh, we're going to simply call an image and let's quickly validate our title so that we would use to see how the cache work title presence uh, true okay uh, now before we move to the next step let us quickly upload every reference for image data to uh, references image so remember when we ran our scaffold it created a lot of those things for us so first let's look at the controller uh, under the params where we set the article so you can change this to image uh, so under our views as well uh, let's look at the form so we are going to make sure the form uh, reflects an image instead of a text area so here we will have a file underscore field on here should be image right and the label as well so we would want to display our image as well under the show page so we should change this to a corresponding image tab so this should be an image tab because we are displaying our image so instead of image data we are going to display image URL that only if there is an article dot image okay now the image data comprises of uh, a stringify item which contains url and the rest we're going to see it. let us test it that is it for step five so step six is simply testing out our image uploader and making sure everything works accordingly so rel server so let's see localhost 3000 I'm just going to navigate to articles slash new okay come on all right this is it so it'll be on point blah 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 so I'm going to pick an image let's pick this logo okay create oh that works perfectly well so let's see so this is the image data. So it, it saves an ID, a stringify object for the image. The store, uh, the metadata, you have a file name, you have a size of the image, the type. So uh, that is it. The show page shows you the image. So uh, that is it for our image. So let's look at the last step on this, our application is enabling the caching features now if you look at this let's create a new article i'm not going to put it title intentionally so i'm going to upload another image so let's see there is an image there so if you create an article title cannot be blank but th the problem is i lost reference of my image so i can't retrieve the image i'll have to reattach it so let's say you have a, a long form uploading that could be so you, you could give user a very good view experience uh, simply caching the image they had already submitted just like this body persisted so your image should persist as well so now let's quickly see how we can fix that so let's 
look at our form data again. So we would top add a couple of codes. So we have image tag here, that's a image tag on uh, form dot object dot image underscore URL uh, if form dot object dot cached image underscore data. So I'm saying display this image from this form object uh, URL if there is a cached image. So I'm also going to have a hidden field that will save this image if there is a cache and my, the user is not attaching a new email, so it will save the cached image. So image and value would be from that object that cached image data. So uh, that is pretty much it. So let's test this out and see how it turns out. So we're going to do the same thing again without filling in the title and create an article. Hmm, see that? Sweet, isn't it? So now if you now add your title and create, it saves that image without you reattaching. That is so cool, so cool. I love this feature. So that is it. Guys, handling image of loops has never been easy, but uh, with Shrine, things are a bit so swift and easy. In seven simple steps, we've uploaded image to our, our data, uh, to our Rails application. Thank you for watching. I hope you hit the subscribe button for me.